Hello Internet World, TechnoGuy3. Today I'm going to be talking about the new YouTube interface changes. A lot of people have been saying that they suck. Which I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that, obviously. Um, here you can see the new YouTube, I have it up on this page. Now, it's, it's drastically different from the old YouTube. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you my opinion on how, how they laid out everything and all that good stuff. Okay, we'll start at the top uh, where the subscriptions everything are is. Uh, right here is m my major problem. Like, when you're a YouTube user who makes videos a lot and who gets lots of messages, this will piss you off because before what we had was uh, it was a bit bigger here at the top they've cleaned it up a little bit but not necessarily in a good way um, instead of having the inbox little mail icon here as well as just a little button for subscriptions and all that stuff now we just have your name and you actually have to click to see my channel subscriptions my videos inbox account favorites all that good stuff you actually have to click now my problem with this I don't have I don't have a problem with this except for the fact that the little the little inbox icon is no longer there. You don't know when you have mail, and I get messages a lot. I like to know when I have mail, and I don't know unless I go up here and check, and look at inbox. And that's my first gripe about this. Um, let's see the what is next? The video placement. I'm just gonna go ahead and watch somebody's baby's iPod Touch help. He posted an iPad video today. Hey guys. So, um, it's, brand new it's different, as you can see. We have on the page, of course, the um, actual video placement is pretty much the same. We have the description box down here. Um, they've eliminated the rating system. I will get to that. Uh, save to, share, embed, and flag. All that stuff has been cleaned up a lot. I like this. It's, it's a lot easier to get around now. Um, and we have all BB's iPod Touch Help videos up here instead of just kind of jumbled up on the side. Next in subscriptions, it'll show my next in subscription bo box. I like that. That is something I definitely want to go over here. And some related videos down here. The comment box is crapped now, so I'll get I'll get to that too. What we have here is the next in subscription box. I actually like that because instead of having to cycle through my subscriptions, I can simply just um, either wait for the video to end you can turn autoplay on and off I like that too or just click this video right here um, one thing is you can extend your subscription subscription box to see other subscription videos but that doesn't work errors and valid requests that's not working so that's something they need to fix uh, the related videos I I kinda like that it shows less of the, the person's videos because the person's videos are actually up here and more of other people's videos that are related to this but what I found really stupid is that what we have here is an iPad um, software and hardware walkthrough so what we have down here is a video about Mirror's Edge that, how is that related to what I'm watching here at all we have Steam Games Key Generator how does that relate to an iPad? I, it's crapped up. Uh, what else do we have? The description. I, as I said, I like that. You just click it to see the whole description, and you can just click this little bar here, and it goes back up. Uh, all the buttons are easy to get to. Um, the subscribe button. I have to get to that one. So up here we have the subscribe button. Instead of the orange button we all came to know and love, or yellow, whatever it was. I, I, I find it more yellow. Some people say it's orange, but that's not what I'm talking about. The subscribe button is gray, just like everything else. This boring design here, everything's gray. Um, you hardly even see that unless you like, hey, is that a subscribe button? But I thought that was kind of stupid, too. I wish they would make it more noticeable. Uh, of course, yeah. I, I really do think they should make it more noticeable than what it is now. I like the way it was before. Uh, the comment box... It, it's screwed. Okay. 
like, now it's just a big jumble of comments. I think people are being a little too harsh on it, but it is just a big jumble of comments, pretty much. Um, you can vote up, vote down, reply to the comments, just like you could before. Uh, I do like to have pages of comments now. You can go one, two, three, go back to one, whatever. But, it's, it's just jumbled up. There's hardly any comment separation. Um, they put the most recent comments down below the highest rated comments and honestly I don't care about any of that I want to see them in chronological order I think that's a much better way to ha have things designed like the way it was before um, partners YouTube partners are complaining now that the partner banner the one that used to be above the video it they now make the space for the partner banner like really small you, you only have about about 120 pixels worth of space so that's pretty sad now the I, I left the best for last here is like dislike now actually I have notes right here I put like dislike WTF that's really what I wrote because that's the most stupid thing I've ever seen there's no longer a rating system you can't rate one to five stars um, Google apparently thinks they're all too stupid to figure out how to rate one to five stars so they made it to a more simple design of like and dislike now you don't have the ratings on the video so you can no longer see what people think about the video before you watch it you can't see what pe how, well whether people have liked or disliked the video until you like or dislike it now I clicked like now after watching the video twice pretty much and clicking like I can finally see what other people think about it and that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard of because a lot of the videos I watch I watch them because they're high rated I know people like them so I'm going to watch them now you have no clue you just you watch whatever videos you have to watch them before finding out whether it's a good video or not a good video I, I just think that's the stupidest thing ever like I can almost live with the rest of the changes they've made which I think people are being way too harsh on it. Um, I like most of the changes, but the like dislike things, that's just no. The subscription box needs to be fixed, it's broken. Of course, the view counter is, is still broken as always. Um, yeah, they need to fix the like dislike thing, change it back to the ratings, because I haven't seen a single person who likes the like dislike thing. But as I said, people are being way too harsh on this. People are just like, oh, I hate it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's horrible. It needs to go back to the way it was. And the reason that is, it's just because people are used to the old YouTube. They can get around easier. But once you get used to this, it's fine. I've only been using it for a few days, and I can get around perfectly now. Uh, I still don't agree with a lot of the changes they made. I think it was easier before, honestly. But still, you can't be that harsh on it until you've used it. Uh, really, when I first started using I'm just like, this is stupid, I can't find anything. But after using a little while, I like it better than the way it was before, but not by much. Like, maybe just a tiny little bit. So, yeah, this has been my uh, walk through of the YouTube design changes. It's stupid, at least the rating system is, and the, the, the Techno Guy 3 thing up here, I can't see my... Uh, messages. I think that's really stupid. Everything else I like, but they need to work out the bugs before they release it. Uh, really, they need to start listening to um, what what the what the people who use YouTube like. There's millions of people who use YouTube, and I think that Google really needs to start listening to them rather than making the changes as they see fit. So anyway, this has been Techno Guy Three. Uh, you can contact me with the message system that is effed or my email at technoguy3 at ymail.com uh, I do streaming infrequently you can find the links in my channel uh, twitter.com slash technoguy3 uh, my channel name is youtube.com slash technoguy3 very easy to find so thanks for watching